Welcome back to Tomb Raider Underworld. In the previous episode, we started running into human enemies, which we haven't seen for a while. We're trying to... I don't know what we're trying to do, but I think that shimmying down using this ring is probably the answer. Uh, drop. Okay. So I, I want to dislodge that block from up there. Ooh, tripped on something there. Just grab this. Not that we're really counting the number of treasures we're collecting, but who knows, you know. One of these days I might break one of those pots and there's actually something useful inside it. Okay, so it looks like the only useful place we can go is through here. Just check all the corners. No, okay, let's climb up this. Uh, to this ledge. Come on, Lara, up you get. Uh, again, break the pots, steal the treasure, raid the tomb, save the world. Okay, so now we're on this side, but it's not feeling particularly better. Oh. Now, is that just the ring over there again? Oh, hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. I feel like if I try and jump to this pillar, it's going to end badly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was pretty much what I expected. You may ask, why did I make the jump if that was what I was expecting to happen? Well, what can I say? I'm a, I'm a mystery. Well, did we break that pot before? We did now. Alright, back to where we started. Let's shimmy on down. Uh, has it saved my uh, my breakage of things? It has. Well, I clearly need to be up here. I haven't figured out why yet. But generally it's a fair assumption in these games that things don't get put here for no reason. So here's a question, right, given that I can hook that from the other side, does the physics allow this? Okay, maybe if I just move to here and then pull, yeah. So I do remember, yeah, very, very early on, there was some demonstration about the, um, oh, uh, drop that, shoot that. Yeah, there was some demonstration about the cables being able to wrap around pillars and things. Um, it sort of got shown off once and then we haven't been asked to do anything with it for a while. But that's what was going on there. Okay, so we've bashed a hole, which isn't what I was expecting to happen with that brick, but it'll work. Let's, uh, let's make our way in. Okay, we've got a little bit of a ping. Let's try and shimmy down the safe way. I can't jump sideways from there. Maybe I need to... Oh, yep, yeah, careful. Let's try dropping down on this side instead. Lara doesn't seem to want to. Can I jump from here and grab that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Still not offering me much in terms of jumping options. This is the best I've got. I wonder if I can get to that pole behind... Oh, all those grabbables. Okay. There we go. That's the way down. Anyone in here with me? Seems peaceful. Got some corners to investigate. Nope, no one's left any goodies for us in these corners. So, well, up there looks good. Surely I can jump on top of this thing. Oh, Lara, you're a strange one. Can I pick it up? Oh, not while I'm still above it, apparently. I hear you. So I think that was the thing I needed for the, the, the rotating puzzle uh, that I was looking at. Uh, sort of midway through the previous episode or more, more to the end maybe so I guess I now need to get out and take that back oh I see I see climbable 
I definitely see climbable. Okay, so let's start with this pole here. Can I climb on top? I can. Jump to this. Up we go. Shimmy along. And then... Oh, there's a climbable wall over there. And Lara thinks she can make it. Okay. Let's try round to the left. Oh, I see a shelf over there that looks appealing. Yeah, let's jump right backwards. Uh, I mean, it's probably just a treasure. We can live without it. Oh. Okay, I think I need to jump across this way. And then I can climb up this way. Okay, so we've made it up there. We're halfway out. I suppose the ring. I can use the grapply ring, maybe. Or can I jump over this? I could jump over this. Okay, there's so totally going to be animals waiting. In fact, I think I see a person waiting for me just over there. Oh, these people aren't running away. Just keep bouncing. Oh, I thought I hear another shot being fired somewhere. But no, we're good. Okay, so I think this area is now done. I think we've got the item that we needed to take back. Oh. Yeah, run away from me. Chase him down. Did I kill him? Apparently so. Uh, now, where did we leave the bike? There's the bike. Tried to kind of jump and land on it, which would have been awesome, but uh, was not to be. Let's see if any enemies have spawned in along here. Alright, so there's the tunnel. This is where we want to swing the left. And we've cleared out the enemies around here, having been here once before. So we can just scorch on through. Oh, well that hurt me apparently. Well, that's one of the dangers of going too fast, which, you know, you'd expect. All right, so... Let's see, let's, let's park the bike just over here. Very nice, and let's make our way back in. So, yeah, we came to this area prematurely in the previous episode, which is why all the enemies have been cleared out. We do need to make our way back in again. And then here we can just run inside. Oh! I bonked my head. That was mildly regrettable. Okay, so here we can place that skull thing we found. Which will then allow us to operate this correctly. So let's remind ourselves how we do this. So we firstly want to get the outer ring in position. There we go, a little clunk to let us know that things have slotted in. We can then disengage... Oh! Oh, you know, that's, that's fine. For a second there I thought it was a different mechanic than the last one, but no, it is the same. Now we want to move the inner ring into the correct orientation. And finally re-engage the outer ring. And that's now sliding across as well. Oh, yep, yeah. and there's the opening. Hello. There's more stuff moving here than I was expecting. Oh, what?
Okay. So I guess we go back to the, the motorbike and uh, make our way around there. Fair enough. Yeah, so we, when we went through that little side entrance in the previous episode, we were there kind of prematurely. Ouch. Over the ramp. Not perfect alignment, but I got away with it. And then when we get to the crossroads, we swing a left, which is just here. And I guess we just ride right on in. I'm glad we were going fast there. Oh, slow down! That was a close one. Also, did that door close behind us? Mayan hieroglyphs. The place of fear. It's definitely Shibalba, the Mayan land of the dead. And that also clears up the pronunciation of Shibalba. Right, Midgard Serpent, journal entry unlocked. I'm just going to check my ammo state, because... Yep, yeah, indeed. I wasted so much ammo on those things. I guess they get replenished, kind of, once I finish the whole southern Mexico area. Don't know. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's where we came in. This is the pit with the spikes. There's a handle here. What does it do? Can't operate it yet. Okay, I think we probably need another little jaguar head to the right there. Is there anything good down there? Not that I'm going down there, wouldn't consider it for a second. I kind of feel like leaving the motorbike here might make sense. It's hard to say, isn't it? Do I really need a motorbike to get around inside this, this tomb? Well, I'll keep going and see where it leads me. I might get to another little jumpy section that requires it. Oh, this is a scary corridor. <laughs> okay. The game developers obviously were not expecting me to do that. I think we need to go back and get the motorbike. I think that's what we're being told. Wow, that's that's a that's a heck of a glitch, isn't it? I think they were probably assuming that given that the motorbike was there, that I would just jump on it and start riding. I want to know what that handle's about. Oh, actually, no, we'll come back here when we've got a, a Jaguar head. Yeah, I think they just assumed that no sensible game player would think of leaving the motorbike behind. Okay, this is where the ramp is. Oh. That one I don't think I can get across. Let's try it. Surprise, surprise. So, from here, let's see what we've got. Free health pack, thank you. So I'm seeing some grabby posts. I wonder if... Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to turn the bike around. I'm going to go back over that previous ramp because I want to use the grabby post and see what's there. Interesting. So that ramp kind of disappeared behind me. Curious. Let's make our way up. Where to now? Is there anything? Oh, there's, there's a post over there I can get to. And then I see a gravity ledge. Which has reopened that ramp. Oh, I wonder if this is maybe just to do with a mechanism for getting back. So once I want to come back out, I'm going to need to do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get a bit more of a run-up than that. Not too much of a run-up, of course. Okay, so I think, yeah, what I need to do here is I need to use these grabby posts and I need to make my way up so that I can activate the next ramp. I think that one's too high for me to get to. 
Okay, where am I stood now? Okay, so getting up there, I'm not sure how that's going to work. This is completely blank. This I can't get across. That ledge is clearly relevant. Hmm. Okay, here's a thought. Can I chimney? Oh, I can. All right. Remember that for next time. Okay, jump to the ledge. That activates that ramp. Let's get back on the bike. Oh, I heard. There they are. Oh, big spiders. Not good. Okay, managed to deal with them without getting hurt. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear, I missed the jump. Apparently, trying to ride a motorbike forwards while firing a gun at a spider, simultaneously running over the spider, it's all too much for one girl to bear. Oh, got to be careful there. Those can kill me. Oh. Hmm. More of a run-up required. Understood. Okay, let's back up a bit. And this should give us enough speed to clear the jump. Very good. Going to go fairly cautiously down here. And zoom into the room. The lords of Shibalba were said to kill visitors for sport by sending them into devious trap rooms. <laughs> trap rooms, eh? Spiders? Yep. Oh, we jumped at each other. Awkward. Okay, it's gone quiet in here. There's a skull on a spike. That's going to be relevant. There's four holes in the floor. Let's find where some of this... Can these people hold skulls on spikes, maybe? Oh, yes, this, this person's holding a skull on a spike. So do we just need to give a, a skull on a spike to everyone? Let's find more skulls on spikes. That's a button. Doesn't unleash more spiders, so that's pretty good for me. Let's pick up all the everything. Yeah, let's just uh, scan this room in a quasi-methodical fashion. some slightly creepy noises here. I feel like I'm accumulating a lot of health packs here. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. I mean, I have always had a tendency to play Tomb Raider games in a very resource thrifty way, in that I would tend to not use health packs unless I really, really have to. Also, historically, I've tended to conserve ammo for weapons with limited ammo, but obviously that's not happened this time because I didn't realise I had limited ammo. Can, do you not want a, a, a spike? Anyone else want a spike? I mean, you're the only person who hasn't got one, so maybe you should have one. There we go, everyone's got their thing. I don't know what that means. So something happened sideways. I do feel like I'm now looking for four things to fit in there. So I guess I need to find some ways that I can maybe climb upwards. 
This looks like chimney jump fun times. But I can't see a way to get started. Yeah, getting started is going to be the tricky thing here. Uh, I did manage to get up there. I've forgotten how. Maybe it wasn't up there I got. Maybe it was, Oh, it was up there I got with this staircase. Let's investigate that a little bit more. Can I interact with any of this? No. They do look a bit buttony. Okay, well, there's a, there's a thing, right? Okay, we're on our way. Uh, can I jump to that? I can. So I'm sensing this is going to be one of those places where there's some pretty big falls available if you want them. Uh, let's drop down. Keep moving around. But I'm not seeing anywhere to jump to. And nor is Lara. So this does feel a bit like we've hit a dead end. Which is disappointing. Oh, a ring. So do I need to jump and then ring? I can. That could have gone very badly. Alright. Another health pack. Gonna be a treasure here. Oh, or maybe on the other side. Or maybe not at all. Alright, this platform is surely within reach. And then... Let's jump up to there. Get the items. And then we need to continue making our way round. So I do wonder if I might need to backtrack back to that platform so I can get up there. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like I've, I've hit one of those little gentle dead ends. I think we're going back around. Oh, apparently... Oh, I had, I had an option to, to grab that ring from there. So, maybe all of that first bit of jumping wasn't really necessary. Okay, so from here, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to there. I could probably make it to that guy's head. That doesn't seem useful. Maybe this ring was purely about making it to that little corner. Mm. Is there a climbable or grabbable or... Nope, just a hurtable. I feel like I need to try a big jump to somewhere. It's going to go wrong. Kind of like that. Yep, that went wrong. I mean, I learned something, so not entirely wrong. You know, if our goal was to keep Lara alive, then we failed. One thing I do notice is everyone's scepter is horizontal apart from these two. Oh no, three of them are horizontal, three of them are vertical. Okay, I'm seeing there's an interact option here. Oh, I see. So when that mechanism went, that allowed me to rotate... Oh, and that opens the door. I see. Okay. I wonder if the same is true of the other ones who've got the scepters lying horizontally across their laps. Right. Okay. All the doors are opening now. I wonder whether maybe I shouldn't open all of the doors right off the bat so that I don't lose track of which ones I've done. No, let's, let's open them all. And then I just need to be methodical about how I go through them. This one, I think, is the one that's got the staircase leading up to it. So this one's clearly where I want to go first. That's the easiest to get into. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually close the doors again once I've been through them. Ugh, I say that. I'm clearly not going to do that. All right, so I see now why that little jumping sequence seemed to lead to a dead end it's not actually a dead end. And indeed, when I suspected that those things were interactable, I was correct. Okay, so the one with the staircase, let's go there first. Oh, that seems like a time thing. 
when you start seeing walls moving like that. Yeah. Okay, something to pick up. Item. And we're going to need to get back. That ring looks like it's useful. Oh, what? Spiders. Stupid spiders. Any more? See, I think I need to use that ring to get out. Not like that. So I wonder if there's some way that I can use the ring to get through here much faster. Oh, here we go, yep. Yeah. Aha. Right. I have some thoughts. Okay, right, I need to use that block to prevent myself getting crushed by the watsits. So maybe if I pull it all the way out, can I switch it round? No, it won't go any further than that. So can I push it from where it is right now? Oh, there, there was an interact option on there, but the interact option is disappearing as soon as I step off. Oh, there we go. So now I feel like if I push... Uh, it, won't, it won't go any further, it's stuck here now. I'm going to need to have a little bit of think about this. This feels like a wonderful place, full of suspense, to end this episode. Hope you'll join me for the next episode of Tomb Raider Underworld. Bye-bye.